Okay, let's try this one more time. We should be on the lifter itself. So we're gonna rotate this. And as we come around and get close to being there, we can see that we have one, two full rotations, three, and 350. So that means that that lifter's got about 350 thousandths of an inch lift on him. Okay, so we'll just continue on around. Make sure the dial's free enough to come back. There was our three rotations back. And we're back to zero right there. And away we go. Coming up on top dead center. Time around. One, two, three, fifty, and of course, if I rotate, we should come back around to zero. One, two, three, fifty, and zero in that. Now, I'm going to bring our degree wheel, which we've already set up back to top dead center so we know that the piston's at exactly true top dead center and we also know that we're on the intake lobe and we have those two measurements available to us then okay now let's put the two together and what I'm going to do and you're going to do is we're going to map this out as we bring the degree wheel around to how many degrees we have on the crank versus how many thousandths of an inch we have on the lift and compare the two. Now the first one we want is we're going to raise the cam lobe to 50 thousandths of an inch. So we need to go back to him again one more time. I'm going to take this and raise it, rotate the engine until we get to 50 thousandths. Right there is 50 thousandths of an inch. Now what we need to do is figure out where this camshaft started to open up in degrees on the crank. So we'll zoom out. We'll go to the crankshaft. We'll look at this guy down here. And this is saying that we're after top dead center. And with that, we are at approximately 24 degrees after top dead center. So we need to record that number down. 24 degrees ATDC on the intake cam. And then what we're going to do is go another 50 thousandths of an inch. Now as I go 50, you watch and tell me the degrees along with this. There's another 50. And with your view, you should be seeing approximately 34 degrees. So another 50 thousandths, 34 degrees after top dead center. So I'm going far enough to get into the next range of after. We'll then go another 50 degrees. And right there. On the next 50 degrees we've made it to 44 degrees after top dead center. And we'll go another 50 degrees after that and see if we're going positive or negative on our dial indicator have another 50 right there and on that your reading looks like he's about uh, 54 degrees on that so we 
have 54 degrees after top dead center with another 50 thousandths on that. And one more time, we'll keep going in this way, 50 thousandths increments. Another 50 thousandths right there. Your reading is after top dead center, 61 degrees. Okay, now let's rotate another 50 degrees or 50 thousandths. Another 50 thousandths then took us to an 80 degrees after top dead center. And again, we're mapping this out in 50 thousand increments. So here we go. And I have stopped at 50 thousandths there. Now this is where we can read this a couple of ways. According to the scale that we have there, it's saying 70 degrees before bottom dead center. But 90 plus 10 is 100. And we're looking at 108 degrees after top dead center. Or again, that can be written as uh, 71 degrees before bottom dead center. Good. Now, these increments go along. We'll be able to take this guy 50 thousandths at a time, and the intake valve will be closing. Closing side, we are at. Let me look at your view. 25 degrees before bottom dead center. Another 50 thousandths on top of that will then give us. Your view says 10 degrees before bottom dead center. Another 50 degrees oh. is there. And your gauge now looks like it's about 3 degrees after bottom dead center. Fifty more thousandths gives us fourteen degrees after bottom dead center. Another fifty thousandths. Your views looking like twenty four degrees. after bottom dead center. Another 50 thousandths then gives me 35 degrees after bottom dead center. Another 50 thousandths where the valve is closing. Ooh, we're getting long there. And there's 50 thousandths there, and now we're looking at 73 degrees after bottom dead center. And to make sure that we're fully off of it, we're very close. That's it. So now the intake valve is closed. And we're going to keep turning this to see how far this goes, rotates, count the rotations. 
from the time that it closed till the time that I see it open up again, I'll tell you when. There's one revolution coming up. Remember it was 73 after bottom dead center, which is right there. No movement on the intake yet. Nothing moving on the intake. Oh, and there goes the intake, which is back to our 24 degrees, or about 20 degrees, zero degrees before top dead center. Because to get 50 thousandths lift, again, I've moved it this far, and we're back to our original 24 degrees before top dead center. And this is what they're talking about, mapping out this. Of course, we could do the same on the exhaust valve along with this.